Hello everybody, you're welcome to another edition of Speaker Savoir. We are here to help you to speak French and to speak it right through our French expressions that we keep sharing with you. Hello, mesdames et messieurs, si vous êtes prêts, if you're ready, c'est parti! Today's expression is ça ne te regarde pas. Ça ne te regarde pas. It means it's none of your business. Yes, it's none of your business. You can also, as usual, take off the ne and have something like ça te regarde pas. Ça te regarde pas. All right, let's look at some examples in which you can use this expression. Example 1. Pourquoi tu veux savoir? Ça ne te regarde pas. Oh, ça te regarde pas. Why do you want to know? It's none of your business. Example 2. Tu as voté ou pas? Did you vote or not? <laughs> Mais ça ne te regarde pas. It's none of your business. The following are some synonyms of this expression. So you could also say, ce n'est pas tes oignons. Ce n'est pas tes oignons. Or, c'est pas tes oignons. Meaning, it's none of your business. Or, it does not concern you. Another synonym is, mêle-toi de tes oignons. Mêle-toi de tes oignons. Which means, mind your business. Or, mind your own business. You can also say, occupe-toi de tes oignons. Occupe-toi de tes oignons, which means mind your own business. So tell me, can you think of instances where maybe you were tempted to tell someone to mind their business? Yeah, of course. This time around, when they come up, you can say it in French. Ce n'est pas de tes oignons. Or, occupe-toi, ce n'est pas tes oignons, rather. Or, occupe-toi de tes oignons. Or, simply, Ça te regarde pas. All right. So let's work on how to pronounce these different expressions, which mean the same thing. Repeat after me. Répétez après moi. Ça ne te regarde pas. Ça ne te regarde pas. Ça te regarde pas. Without the ne. Ça te regarde pas. Ce n'est pas tes oignons. Ce n'est pas tes oignons. Or, c'est pas tes oignons. C'est pas tes oignons. Mêle-toi de tes oignons. Mêle-toi de tes oignons. Occupe-toi de tes oignons. Occupe-toi de tes oignons. And in case you're wondering, oignon in French means onions in English. So, it's an expression, okay? Yeah. All right, great job. I hope you got all those pronunciations right. Très bien. Bon travail. Alors, je vous encourage de pratiquer beaucoup plus. I encourage you to practice a lot more. Because practice makes perfect. Car c'est en forgeant qu'on devient forgeron. Thank you for watching this video. Merci d'avoir suivi cette vidéo. I hope you liked it. See you on the next video. Au revoir. Thank you.